we go. This puck will be tied up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The Florida Panthers are your 2023-2024 Stanley Cup champions. What a series. As that will wrap it up here in Sunrise, the Florida Panthers win their first Stanley Cup in franchise history. And the Edmonton Oilers and Canada will have to wait another year. Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're recapping Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final between the Edmonton Oilers and the Florida Panthers. So we'll hop right into today, starting with, of course, the game that we've just talked about with, yes, the Florida Panthers winning this year's Stanley Cup. We'll talk about the Conn Smythe in just a second, but first, let's talk about the game. Starting in the first period, we had Carter Verhage with the first goal of the game, and this one was a tone setter. You could tell right away, you sort of see though that balance shift and... Once again, you know, we've seen it time and time in this series. The team that scores first oftentimes sets and dictates the pace of play. Very similar in this one, and we saw it throughout the entire game. You know, Florida just seemed to have that little bit of an extra edge, especially as the game went onward. But then, you know, Matthias Yanmark with the goal, tying the game at one, looked like it was going to be a tight game. And we knew going into it, this one was going to be a tight one. Could have won either way, but nonetheless, here we are here into the second period with Sam Reinhardt scoring with about four minutes left to go in the second period. And then from there on out, it became trap for the Florida Panthers. And basically, you know, how it always is, right? The trick to Florida Panthers is once they go up, they trap it away and you can't get anything near the net. Brofsky's still on his head yet again. We'll get to him in just a second. But then, of course, as well, you know, is if you're going to play with the lead, you're going to lead, you're going to have a lead. You're going to be able to play with it. And at the end of the day, you're going to probably win because you have a lead. You're a good team that plays well with the lead. So for the Amazon Oilers, trying to throw anything and everything that they could possibly throw was the one thing that they do. They quadruple, triple shift that McDavid line. Uh, McDavid, Hyman, Dreisaitl, and then on the defense, you had Bouchard and Ekholm. Those are the five guys that played the majority of the third period. But at some point, you just ran out of gas, and we saw it on this one, just sort of ran out of gas towards the end. But... With that being said, that brings us to the third period, and that is your Stanley Cup champions. The Florida Panthers are your Stanley Cup champions this year. They'll win this game by a score of two goals to one, winning the series in seven games. And the notes from today is down, not out. Remember coming into this series, we said it back from game after the game three, where this series was just a matter of time before it's over. You know, game four, we're, okay, maybe we'll see what happens in game five. Game five, they win. Great, there's a, there, there's hope. Game six, here we go. Game seven, it's going to matter at all. And then, of course, game seven comes. Florida is your winner. Canada has to wait an extra year. Florida wins their first Stanley Cup in franchise history. And now let's talk, once we got through the game, let's talk about the awards. And this is where we're going to have a little heart-to-heart. -heart. These graphics are going to go away, and now it's time to talk. See this thing? This is called the Conn Smythe Trophy. And you know what it's for? It's for the best player on the team that wins. Not Connor McDavid. He didn't win. He No, no. He didn't win this one. No. He won this one. Come on, guys. This, is, this isn't the old days where there was one player that skated through teams. No. No. That's this. This. This right here. This belongs to Sergei Bobrovsky. Anyone that says otherwise... Fight me in the comments. I disagree with you with every ounce of my being. This belongs to the Florida Panthers. This should have belonged to Sergei Bobrovsky. Both these should have belonged to Sergei Bobrovsky. But here we are. Here we are. You know what? You know what? That's okay. You know why? Because you can't win them all, right? Right? Can you win them all? No. You know, you got you to gotta share the wealth, right? No! This isn't preschool pickup hockey games. No, this is the Stanley Cup. Figure it out, NHL. You've got booed enough. Florida fans, good work on booing them. I think I, I'm I'm Batman for saying McDavid was your con smite. Let, let alone, let alone, I might add that you know I'm pretty sure Oilers fans are probably going to boo too for that because let's be honest here. McDavid, yes, he was great. He broke he he broke Gretzky's record. Great. Did he win the cup? No, no, he did not. So what does that mean? This goes to Sergey. This goes to Sergey. 
Neither of these go to Connor McDavid. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. Let's move it along here to the overview of the series. Remember back to game one, three nothing victory for the Florida Panthers. Game two, Florida won again, four to one. Game three, four to three victory. And this was the one that was the turning point in the series. The eight to one victory in game four for the Edmonton Oilers. And then it just seemed like the tables were tilted. Bobrovsky didn't look as good. Edmonton wins this one, five to three in game five. Game six, a five to one victory for the Edmonton Oilers. But as they like to say, you have to win the ones that count. That is game seven. Unfortunately, Oil's country does not see the end of day on this one. Your final on this one, two to one, which brings us to the overview of the final, the very final playoff bracket for the 2023-2024 season. Thanks for a great ride, everybody. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you really like to subscribing, tell all your friends and comment down below your thoughts on, on the Stanley Cup playoffs of 2023. Until next time, see you.